So I thought I'd just do a quick video just um, going over the camper trailer itself and giving out just a couple of quick little tips that I've worked out that makes this setting um, these soft floor campers up a little bit quicker. So um, one tip that I'll give you is we leave the spreader poles inside on the bed wrapped in just a old towel. Um, that, that way there when we've got the um, main part of the tent pushed out, the um, spreader poles are just in there ready to go. Um, another thing, we always leave the annex zipped on and just fold it over the top of the main tent. And we take only just the amount of poles that we need for the trip. So we don't take any spare poles or any of that. Um, yeah, we've never found that we actually need the spare poles. The main roof poles for the NX, um, we have it marked with black texture as to how far the roof has to come. Uh, this makes it real quick. Um, when you fold it over, it's already in the right spot. You know, sometimes you can adjust a little bit more for a bit of stretch um, in the canvas, but most of the time it's pretty well spot on. All in all, this probably would have taken us about 10 minutes to set the main tent part up. Uh, it would have taken about roughly 15 minutes for this um, NX part. Uh, we only used one wall on the NX. Uh, most of the time we used two, but I only took one this time around and I didn't take any leveling blocks, which was a big mistake at this campground as it was quite sloped. But if you wanted to fully set this up with um, all walls and the front and a floor, uh, you think of it this way, 10 minutes to set the poles up, five minutes throw the roof over, five minutes each wall, and five minutes for the floor. It probably would take you half an hour. So I'm using five spreader bars opposed to three. Um, that's just because we knew we were gonna get rain. So the I don't find it that it pulls with water over the kitchen, but I do find that it pulls with water on the larger part of the annex. So using more spreader bars is supposed to stop it from pulling. But I also seen on the internet where people have used pool noodles to push it up off the spreader bar. Anyway, I hope some of these tips have came in handy for you and um, happy camping.